Hi, this is Nevin again with Disc it, coming to you with a very, very special episode of how cooking outdoors has never been better. And how? I'm going to learn to cook today from one of our Disc it customers. Randy here received a Disc it as a gift from Father's Day last year, and he decided to come in and show me how it's done. So we're very, very pleased to have our customers join us, new faces on the show, shows more excitement, shows more about the product, and totally teaching what us different things you can cook on it. So Randy, what are you going to, what are we going to cook today? What are you going to teach me how to do here? We got beef uh, fajitas and uh, chicken fajitas that we're going to cook. Mmm. Mm -hmm. And tortillas and green chili. Looks like you got everything already ready, don't you? Yeah, I <laughs> let it marinate for overnight. That's why I mixed already. So what did you marinate it in? Uh, this olive oil and uh, seasoning. Uh, this is a chicken one and uh, the beef beef seasoning for uh, marinating. Oh, nice. Have you cooked this several times before? Yes. What's your favorite thing to cook on the disket? The fajitas. <laughs> <laughs> and what do you call these things? Anything, any special name? No. It's How good, about good meal? So I like to say. How about uh, Randy Jack's 220s fajitas? Fajitas. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, we actually designed a custom disc for Randy. His wife and his daughter came in and they decided to make something special. So you'll see a different design that we did for him. It's actually uh, two females on there that's modified for, for Randy here. It's called the 220s. So it looks like you're adding some red bell peppers, some yellow bell peppers, some, some onions. Mmm, green bell peppers. Yeah, I see. Put a little bit of garlic in there. I love the garlic. I'll nice. put a little bit of oil in there to make it. Probably don't need much, do you? No. That's what's neat about the disc. You don't use a whole lot of oil, or no. Pretty healthy to cook, huh? It's real healthy. <laughs> that way you won't uh, put too many calories or whatever. Wow. And about how long does it take to cook your uh, your 220 fajitas? Not very long. <laughs> and this yeah. will feed what? Uh, about uh, what six, eight, ten people? Oh yeah. Oh, what do you got there? Put the green chili on the side. Some people can't eat green chili. And you're just gonna warm it up, or? Yeah. We'll let it cook too. Nice. Now, is this a new recipe you came up with after you got the biscuit, or is it something you did before and just? No, it's a new recipe. I uh, tried to think of something to. Take uh, camping with us, and mm -hmm. decided to make fajitas one day, and really enjoyed them ever since. Now Rachel was telling me that uh, a lot of your friends come by and see your disc. Did you ever lend it to them? No, nobody <laughs> borrows my disc. <laughs> you know, uh, Randy is a is a little special. Thank you for for being part of our show. I wanted to give you something. I know you're busy cooking and stuff, but uh, as a thank you here. Wanted to offer you a wind ring, which sits outside the burner. Uh -huh. So if it ever gets real, real windy, you just put that right around the burner, and that'll keep all the heat in there. I also wanted to give you a couple other things here. A disket bag. So when you go grocery shopping, you know, stop, okay. stop using all the plastic. It ends up in the landfill. Okay. And we got a disket apron for you, too. Wow. Boy, I'm... So just thank you for, for being part of this and being part of the disket community. and. Thank you for cooking all that stuff. Thank you very much. Uh, I only did that because I want to eat all that food. It smells good. Okay. <laughs> we always invite all of our customers to be part of our cooking show. Um, if you're in the local area, you're always welcome to come in and we'll get you on film. Um, if you'd like to send in your recipes of you cooking on your disket, send it in. We'll put you on YouTube. Uh, we'll also send you a little thank you like we just did for Randy, something to just thank you for your efforts and showing us how to, how to cook on this thing. We also may be opening up some uh, YouTube cooking contests. We'll get some more information on that here in the future. How are we doing here, Andy? We're doing good. We're doing good. Smells good. We're going to eat here in a minute. Uh-oh. So what do we got in here? We got, is this uh, just a round steak beef that you cut up, or what did, what did you do uh, here? It's strips of uh, sirloin stock. Oh, wow. Sirloin. Yeah. And it looks like you cut these at about uh, half inch wide, and they're about four inches long. Uh, you get them from the supermarket in a package and they're stripped already. Oh, they're already pre-cut, so you save a little bit of extra time there, huh? Yes. <laughs> and you got some green bell peppers, yellow bell peppers, red bell peppers. you got some fresh garlic. We've got some onions. And then, of course, he mentioned that we've got the uh, some of the seasonings he's using. 
Is there any special secret to this that you don't want anybody to know? No, everybody should know it because <laughs> it's going to be good to eat. The thing of it is, is try to let it marinate overnight because the longer it marinates, the better it, flavor it gets. So how has the experience been with uh, with your discus since you had it? Oh, it's been great and couldn't ask for better people to deal with. <laughs> well, than, thank you. <laughs> than down here and they really treat you good. What they, about the uh, the way it's manufactured? Do you have any comments about the, the, the thickness of the material we use, the finish and all that kind of stuff? The material is great. It's the right thickness and everything. And uh, I guess you powder coat paint. Yes, we do. Yes, they're powder coated. And uh, everything, and everything is perfect. All the designs of cutting it out and everything. Uh, Neat deal. And it's simple to, to move around and everything and don't take up much space or anything. <laughs> so Randy, one of the things I wanted to invite you to is uh, every year we do a fundraiser for the Children's Hospital. Uh -huh. And uh, what we do is it's actually a, a discuit roundup and it's a cooking competition that a lot of our customers show up to. They bring their own discuits, you provide your own recipes, you actually uh, get judged by the people that come in. Now last year was our first one. We raised about $3,000 in five hours and all the proceeds went to the Children's Hospital. So we're hoping you'll join us this year raising some funds for the kids. That'll happen in July, June. That sounds good. We, have, we do uh, other things as well, not just for the Children's Hospital. Last year we got involved with the Make-A-Wish Foundation. Um, we do a bunch of different fundraisers with the with the local kids, the soccer team and stuff like that. Try to way to give back to the community. It's been a lot of fun. We've had a lot of community support, so it's other things that we try to get involved with. So we look forward to you participating and see if, see if you can win the competition. I look forward to being at these events. Are we ready to eat? Yeah. Okay. Anybody else ready to eat? Yeah. <laughs> Good. So this here, this is Randy Jack's 220s fajitas. Thank you, Randy. You're welcome, sir. And say it with me. Cooking, Cooking outdoors, outdoors has never, never been, been better. better. Disket. Hey, this is Nevin with Disket, and thanks for watching the previous video. To see a ton more videos of all kinds of different things, all you got to do is go to disk-it.com forward slash free. We'll see you there.